Hello! Our next art project inspired by the story of Ferdinand is going to be to create flowers because in the whole story he just loves the smell of flowers. So why don't we make some flowers? These can be for you, you can make them as a gift, you can make them make a bouquet of them. That is all up to you. But since he loved all these flowers, I thought, what do we have at home that we could make into flowers? And I'm calling them tissue flowers. In 3D, you need four pieces of tissue, Kleenex, you know, something you blow your nose with, and a twist eye or a pipe cleaner. You could probably make it work with a um, paper clip too. This is, you know, if you happen to have some art supply things at home. If you don't, twist eye works just as well. Either way, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take four pieces of Kleenex and you're going to stack them all together very carefully so that the edges, like notice they kind of pull apart. There's actually usually two pieces of tissue in one um, Kleenex or one sheet. So I'm gonna put them so that they all line up the same way. And they don't have to be perfect, but just stack them on top of each other like so. And then I'm going to start folding them like a fan. So I'm gonna go one way, about an inch thick. And then I flip it over and I fold it back. And then I fold it the other way, flip it and fold and flip and fold. And I'm going to flip and fold until I get all the way till the end. Looks like this one's gonna be a little small, but that's okay. And then I press it so that I can kind of make creases in there as best I can. And I'm going to be making a flor in Spanish, a flower. And it's going to be a flor blanco out of tissue, el tissue blanco. Because I tried to find colored tissue paper in the grocery store and I really couldn't. And then, so if you have a pipe cleaner, give yourself a little bit extra, fold it in the middle, and then just twist it around like that. If you don't have a pipe cleaner, and you have a twist tie, same kind of thing. Give it a little extra, bring it around. And if you got a loaf of bread at home, or maybe you got some hamburger buns or hot dog buns or something, maybe you can substitute something like this on it. So find the middle. I didn't quite get the middle there, did I? Let's slide that over. There we go, got the middle. I have a little thing there. Voila, it's a flower. No, not yet, not yet. Let's go a little further over. Now I'm going to take it and spread it out a little bit so the parts of the fan are away from me. And I'm gonna separate, if I can, those little tiny tissues. For You may need a little help from mom or dad, younger guys. And I'm gonna gently pull this into the center, like so, so that I separate it. If it's really hard to do this, you can do it without separating the little plies. That's up to you. You just don't get as many um, petals in your flower, but it still works. Hmm. Let's see, I thought I had this side all set so I could be nice and quick, because it does take a minute to kind of find that edge. There we go, now I found it. Now, oh, it's ripping a little bit. You know what? Flowers aren't perfect. They're nice and organic, which means they're like natural. So if it rips a little, I'm okay with that. I don't really mind. And then I'm gonna bring this up here. Oh, look, it's ripped off. Oh, I don't have to worry about that piece. And then we go like this. Sometimes after I do this, and then I start to round these up a little bit. So I'm just bringing everything into the center like this. And then, let's see, come on, one more. Separate it and pull it up. And because I have that fan in there, when I went back and forth and like did a fan fold, I mean, because I did that, it'll kind of break it apart. Look at that, did you see? Do you see the flower on that side? And these pieces, oh look, maybe I want more of them to be like that. I can just dip little edges. Oh look, it's all, see? Now it's supposed to be that way, right? Do you guys know who Bob Ross is? Just like Bob Ross would say, no mistakes, only happy accidents. So look, happy accidents, now I have nice edges. So if I wanted to do just these sides and not pull them, oh, I did pull that one apart, and not pull them apart, I'll show you what that looks like on this side. I can just kind of pull these up, get a little bit more. So options for you and round this one. Now I'm gonna take the corners and pull them in, kind of bunch it, Woo! and look at this. I have a lovely tissue blanco floor. And you can be done just like that. You can just have your little flower, you can make a bunch, you can put them in a vase, 
Or let's just say you wanted to add some color. What if I wanted a little rojo, a little red in here? What I could do, I have fruit at home, hopefully, because you know, fruit's good for you. And you don't eat much because you don't want to you know, waste perfectly good fruit. Like raspberries, these are my favorite. So I can mush them up. Just take a little bit, mush them up. I could do the same thing with a little bit of strawberry. Mush it up. And this is gonna be like my paint. And I'm gonna put it on the edge of my flower. Let's see what little blueberries do. Let's put this guy off of here. It might be not me. Ah, squish, squish. See, it's like fun art. Art is that's a little messy, all that much more fun. And it might be helpful. This one could probably use a little bit of water in here. Of course, I don't have my water glass. We'll try it without. But I wanna get that blue, nice blue skin in there so it comes up. And then the other thing, I tried this too. It's a little hard to see, but I wanted just to show you. You could take a knife and skim the edge of an orange. And it's not gonna give you orange, it's gonna give you yellow. And you definitely need water for this one. But if you scrape it kinda on the plate, that's another option for you too. And now, I can take my edges here and I'm going to dab them in my colors. So I got some raspberry over there. Got some strawberry over here. I got some blueberry over here. Maybe I mix it up. And if you would like to add little edges to it, let it dry. You can set it in a cup. That helps just rest it in there. And you have a lovely, let's get a little more color on that one. I want some color all the way around. And there's my flower. Et voila, enjoy. Have fun making flowers for Ferdinand and for you.